Adam, my big day has arrived and uh, classic day. You've got a couple of runners on the day. Let's start with race three, number seven, African Beauty. First timer, Muzi Yeni up. Yeah, look, she's a filly that's really shown us nice work at home. I do think Paul Peters' horse, Almond C, seems to be the horse that everyone has to beat. Hasn't done anything wrong and has won in a really impressive fashion both starts. Uh, so at the end of the day, this race is basically a juvenile plate and it's going to be a nice guideline for us to see where we are with her. Uh, the work at home has been good. We'll see how good it is on the racetrack. And then race five, your nice filly, Lady of Power, back to a 1600, I see, uh, Adam. Yeah, this filly's definitely shown her best over the mile. Um, she's uh, flattered to deceive when we've gone a little bit further. Um, I do think that this is probably the best trip for her. This look, the race is competitive, uh, but with where she is at the moment and sort of coming back to form, I think she's definitely in with the shout. And then in the Colts Classic, you've got uh, Mondial. Um, he didn't run such a bad race. I see they gave him a few points for running and placed in there in the guineas, but um, what do you expect in his, his chances in the, in the over 18? Look, uh, I think that uh, this horse from day one, I've always said he would be a derby horse for us. So um, his guineas run, I must say, was a little bit disappointing. We did decide to geld him after the run. Uh, so this will be his first run after gelding. And, you know, taking that into consideration, he's probably gonna be a touch in need of it. It's a little bit unfortunate because He's really run well over the 18, uh, but I do think he's going to be better over further. So this will be a conditioning run for the Derby. And if he had to finish in the money, we'd be extremely impressed. But uh, if he's not really seeing it out the last furlong of the race, wouldn't surprise us. Perfect. Then you've got in race nine, Kiss Me Captain with a jockey that's won, I think, most races on her with 53 and a half, Diego on. How do you expect her to go? She had a good win in Cape Town as well. Yeah, this filly, um, she's got a really good relationship with Diego. You know, he hasn't done much wrong with her. And the times where things haven't gone according to plan, it's been pretty much uh, bad luck within running in the races. I think that she's really well weighted. Um, she she beat quite a good field in Cape Town in her first start there, giving all of them weight, whereas she's receiving weight uh, on this occasion. Uh, obviously, there's a healthy respect for the horses like Dyke and William uh, Dice and William Robinson. Uh, but uh, on her day, this filly can be competitive, and I think at the weight, she's in with a big shot. Perfect. And then race 10, lucky last, you got uh, Eremitage, um, gelded and rested. Yeah, gelded, rested, took some time to come uh, come back to hand after his gelding. Uh, he's drawn wide. Uh, this is basically just a run that we're going to use to bring him on for another mile later on in the month.